Are you wondering what the best beginner drones are for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of the short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best beginner drones on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Altair 818 Hornet Beginner Drone. Anyone at any skill level can enjoy the 818 Hornet Drone. It's an excellent choice for beginners who want to explore aerial photography and videography. From a design aspect, not all entry-level users want a toy-grade drone. The Altair 818 Hornet is an excellent mid-range quadcopter for enthusiastic beginners. The construction uses durable plastics and rubber to make it as crash-resistant as possible. The landing gear has rubber damping that cushions the impact on touchdown. That alone is significant when you consider most damage occurs from hard landings. As for performance, one of the main attractions as a beginner drone are the three skill modes. These are beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The different levels allow new pilots to develop their skills with one quad instead of upgrading each time they improve. Furthermore, you can control the drone with the Flying C app by UDIRC, which is available both for Android and iOS devices. That's great as this app is quite easy to use and gives you more flexibility when you control your drone. Once you're up in the air, you can create your custom route via the smartphone app and the drone will fly by itself. The camera of the 818 comes pre-installed. It's a 120-degree wide-angle 720p HD camera, which is a rubber damper camera which ensures your photos or videos won't be blurry or shaky. Other than that, the 818 has all the necessary features you should look for in a beginner quadcopter, such as headless mode, altitude mode, one-button takeoff and landing, emergency landing, low battery alarm, and out-of-range alarm. Additionally, you can expect around 15 minutes of flight time with the 818 Hornet. That's on the high side of the average. There's also a bonus battery that effectively doubles the flight time to 30 minutes. The operational range is about 490 feet or 150 meters, and that's far enough for a beginner drone. Overall, there's no such thing as the perfect beginner drone. However, the 818 Hornet is as close to perfect as you can get for the price and one we would recommend. At number 4 is the DJI Spark Portable Mini Drone. Without doubt, DJI is one of the best drone makers in the world. And the DJI Spark Portable Mini Drone is one of a kind, being affordable and small, yet so feature-rich. Any casual user searching for a drone should consider the Spark. Design-wise, due to its small size, the Spark might be confused for a toy, which it is not. Based on the kind of advanced sensors it comes equipped with. The first thing you notice is the build quality. The overall design is quite beautiful, with the thick motor mounts giving it a robust appearance. As for performance, it boasts GPS, so it can hover without drifting and has a mechanically stabilized 12-megapixel camera, capable of shooting smooth 1080p HD video. This drone offers real quality in a solid portable form factor. One of the best drones for beginners, the DJI Spark's thoughtful design includes front-facing collision detection and a natural shield over the most delicate component, the amazing two-axis camera gimbal. Moving on, the mini drone is designed to travel, and you can even charge it from any USB adapter like the one with your phone. The Spark uses face and gesture detection, so you can have it take off from the palm of your hand, then respond to your gestures. Make a square with your hand and the Spark will take your photo. For more accurate control, operate it from your phone's Wi-Fi around 100 meter range, or invest in the optional radio controller later for 2 km range. Aside from the standard stuff, the Spark has four flight options. There is Rocket, in which the drone will quickly ascend with camera pointing down. Droney, where it will fly up and backward while staying locked on the subject. Circle, orbit while staying locked on. And Helix, orbit outward in a spiral pattern. All of these can be executed with just a few taps on your smartphone, which is pretty cool. And don't need to be a seasoned drone pilot to capture professional looking shots. To conclude, if you're a beginner looking for something affordable and fun to fly, then the DJI Spark is your best bet. It's durable, reliable, and has sensors that will help you avoid crashing. It also has upgrade options that allow you to scale up and grow your skills as you progress as a pilot. 
At number 3 is the Cheerwing Sima X5SW V3 Wi-Fi FPV drone. The Cheerwing Sima X5SW quadcopter is perfect for starting out flying FPV-capable quadcopters. This drone has an attractive, classy, and very durable design, making it suitable for beginners who want to try out capturing videos and images from a drone. Design-wise, this drone is made of durable plastic and is robust to falls and impact. There are green LEDs in the front and red LEDs in the back. The LEDs light up the legs which make for a cool visual when the drone is taking off and landing. The landing gear legs pop in place and there are screws that attach the legs permanently. As for performance, the SEMA X5SW features smooth and stable flight performance, which is important for stable videos. It is a bit slow on the yaw rate but the flip mode is really fun. The range of the quadcopter is good, it can go as far as 100 yards without any loss of signal. If you turn on the controller, the quadcopter stops flying and drops. This prevents your drone from flying off. In addition, the SEMA X5SW has low and high flight speed. The low setting is ideal for beginners and if you are flying inside. The high mode ramps up the performance of the X5SW, allowing it to move at a much faster rate. Moving on, the camera allows real-time transmission of video to a receiving device, such as a smartphone which clips onto the controller. The clip attaches onto the controller so you can watch the captured video while you fly the drone. We must mention the battery takes about an hour to charge. The flight times vary depending on whether you are using the camera or not. If the camera is always on, you will get about 6 minutes until you get the low-level battery warning. To conclude, the simple and robust design coupled with the affordable factor makes this an attractive drone. This SEMA X5SW drone is excellent for beginner flyers or experienced drone pilots who need a cheap trainer to perfect their flying skills. It is remarkably stable and really fun to fly. At number 2 is the Holy Stone HS100 drone. The Holy Stone HS100 is one of the best beginner-friendly drones on the market. It is suitable for everyone, but especially for those who are new to the world of drones. Design-wise, the HS100 is a powerful and large-sized drone, making it very stable under high wind speeds. It weighs about 700 grams including battery and comes with a pretty eye-catching color, lava red, which contrasts against the sky or ground to prevent you from losing track of the drone. As for performance, the HS100 drone is perfect for beginners, with auto-hovering and headless mode making it easy to operate. With its beginner mode default settings designed for newcomers, under which flight distance and height are limited to ensure a safe flight. In addition, at the front end of the HS100 drone is an optimized 1080p Wi-Fi camera with 120-degree field of view and 90-degree adjustable angle, ensuring you can capture quality footage or stills and experiment with shots from multiple perspectives. The HS100 also comes equipped with GPS, ensuring a smooth flight, precision positioning, and the ability to return to the takeoff point at the touch of a button, or as a safety measure if the battery or signal drops. Additionally, the follow me mode is on hand to further boost the dynamic of your shots, enabling the drone to automatically follow a subject and keep it in the frame at all times, ideal for epic selfies or shooting fast-moving activity. In terms of flight time, the drone is capable of hovering in the air for 12 to 15 minutes, which is pretty much standard for any drone similar in the market. The time is just good enough for anyone to take stills and images while on vacation with family and friends. To conclude, the advanced features that the HS100 packs make it a must-have for any drone enthusiast. Whether you are a novice or an advanced drone flyer, you can buy this one with confidence, knowing that it will give you value that is way over the price that you will pay. And you won't be disappointed. At number 1 is the DJI Phantom 3 Standard Drone. The DJI Phantom 3 Standard is nothing less than awesome. It's a breeze to fly too. This is a consumer drone that offers lots of extra stuff that you just won't find with the less expensive models. Design-wise, the Phantom weighs about 2.7 pounds and measures 23 inches from wingtip to wingtip. Landing struts sit underneath its body, with the gimbal and camera mounted on the undercarriage. The lightweight and compact design is a boon for aerial videographers transporting the Phantom to different locations. As for performance, all you have to do is place the parts together and you have a drone that is good to go. It is ideal for people who are looking to get some essential flying experience whilst having a good run at aerial photography at the same time, making it ideal for hobbyists, video makers, and amateur flyers. Moreover, all the necessary camera controls can be easily monitored right from your smartphone.
In addition, the 2.7K video camera can capture pictures from mid-air at 12 megapixels. Another reason why the Phantom 3 is able to create some of the most stable photographs is the presence of the stabilization gimbal. This particular drone comes with a 3-axis gimbal that holds the camera steady in its position. The fact that this device supports GPS navigation allows the users to focus on getting the best shots from mid-air while the drone manages to fly on its own. Moving on, one of the most exciting features of this device is flight time. For a medium-sized drone, it is unusual to get flight times that go over 20 minutes. However, the Phantom 3 standard can assure you flight times reaching 25 minutes at least. But that is not the end. You can also get transmission ranges extending as far as 500 to 1000 meters from the operator, which is great. To conclude, the DJI Phantom 3 standard has been one of the best creations from the house of DJI. It caters to the activities of amateur pilots who are learning the art of flying. This comes with very easy controls, and thus is made very easy for the people to use. And that's why it tops our list of beginner drones. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.